Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Max Kaiser is going to join us on the economy, geopolitics, and more. I want to give you some of the news that's up on Infowars.com right now. And then we will also take your phone calls, probably when Kaiser's on, but definitely, definitely in the third hour coming up today. Uh, here's some of the news on Drudge I'm going to be getting to. Rand Paul announces... 50-state network taps 200 people for team. He is the Republican frontrunner in all the polls, one CPAC. We could really end up with President Rand Paul. Uh, but that is only the beginning of the, the war. That is not winning the war. It is winning a major battle. And we don't need to start you know, celebrating yet, but this definitely shows how popular liberty is. Continuing, uh, Godfather, uh, as he's known, of Chicago, is now saying he had contrary views on Obamacare and doesn't like it, basically. So the rats are leaving the sinking ship, Rahm Emanuel. Hospitals plot the end of insurance companies. And GOP, economic growth, half of what President said his policies would deliver, and that's with QE Unlimited. Senator Cornyn says shield law bill is government licensing of news media. That's what I said it was day one. That's what Matt Drudge said it was. And you notice people are now reading it going, wait a minute. You're calling it the Patriot Act. It butchers the Bill of Rights. You're calling it the Affordable Care Act. It increases the prices and lowers the quality and brings in death panels. This thing actually waters down court rulings and precedents in media for mainstream dinosaur media and then takes away any shields for independent journalists that are now the real media. And Cornyn, who is I'm not a big fan of, uh, kind of a neocon, fake, you know, blue blood, but uh, it's the truth. So that's very exciting to see that bill in trouble. You know, they say they've got the votes to pass it out of the Senate, but that's Chucky e. Schumer saying that, and Harry Reid, just give me a break, and Diane Feinstein. I mean, it's just, it just never ends. These people cannot control the narrative, so they're panicking right now. And, you know, they've been real arrogant for a long time, MSNBC, CNN, all of them, Michael Moore, now they get they're in trouble. Hillary said three years ago they're losing the info war. But they still have the hubris. And that's what always brings them down. Now they realize they're wide open. And that's why Obama is saying in a message to Russia, you know, I'm really worried a nuke might go off. <clears throat> and then uh, Russia, don't want to have to have a problem with you. The message is, I'll set a nuke off, Rusker. I'm crazy. I will blow you up, Mr. Red. That's what Rus Russian Settled by the Vikings, the Rus in the West. Listen, 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 Reds. I will blow you off the map. That's the message, Mr. Ruski. But if we expose what they're up to, they're not going to be able to do it. Again, you're like, well, why don't you want them to blow the Russians up? Don't we get something if we have a nuclear war? Aren't you a right-wing patriot? Don't you hate Russians? I mean... This is all pure bull. The bankers put the Russians in, the commies in, gave them the nuclear weapons, the whole nine yards to build up a police state here to counter their police state. And now they don't want Russia to reindustrialize. And so what they're doing is trying to start a new Cold War. I know that's elementary. Everyone understands that. Well, if you understand that, folks, and I know you do, you know more than I do, many of you, especially the veterans I hear that call in, they got all the angles. You better tell some people right now. Who's the threat, the Russians or Obama? Who's taking your rights, the Russians or this criminal government? Who's walking all over you, raising your taxes while the Russians cut their taxes? This government. The Russians do one thing against my interest and my family. I will spit on them. They've done nothing to us. And I will not be part of this garbage. Now, when we come back, Max Kaiser joins us. Uh, uh, Pope tells Obama of concern for religious freedom in the U.S. While Obama meets with him, they've shut down the Vatican... Um,
consulate that the U.S. had there. So weird stuff going on, folks. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides herbicides, chloramines, ammonia and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. For the balance of the hour, Max Kaiser, host of RT's International News Program, syndicated radio host, a retired stockbroker, inventor of the uh, virtual trading system on the Hollywood Stock Exchange, Max Kaiser will be our guest, and I do intend to take some calls for Max uh, in the second half of the hour, and I do intend to take a lot of your calls in the third hour today on this Thursday edition. So that is all coming up today. I don't know where to start first, not because of lack of news, but because there's too much of it. Here's some of the headlines up on Infowars.com. Justices, Supreme Court, companies can pay penalty if they object to Obamacare birth control. And that broke yesterday, but Kurt Nemo breaks down more facets of it. And Obama's been denying there's a penalty, even though there is a penalty. And now there's this bizarre thing where they have media pundits saying there's no penalty or the penalty kicks in later when it's kicking in now for businesses. Justice Kagan argued religious views might be used to violate other federal laws. Well, that's the whole point. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. I mean, look at Elena Kagan, ladies and gentlemen. 
a bad clone copy of Rachel Maddow meets Janet Reno meets Dung Beetle Napolitano. I mean, this is the, this woman is a political, socialist, progressive, anti-gun, anti-man joke. This is a revolution of weakness and scum over everyone. What a degenerate fraud to be ruled over by the likes of her and people like Harry Reid. I mean, what a infomnia. Here's another one. Anti-NSA reps are being intentionally cut out of debate on surveillance bill. They're using the committees to do that. That's on Infowars.com. World leaders wear bizarre Illuminati pyramid at nuclear summit. Well, well later, I'm going to play this in the next hour and show TV viewers this. But you got to go see it up on Infowars.com. We have images and video of it. I mean, stuff's really getting weird. Russia may face Islamic terrorism in Crimea. Yeah, the neocons and the Obama Obamanoids are activating those guys. Like, that's a great article by Kurt, but it should just read, West prepares to activate Muslim terror cells in war against Russia. That's really what's going on. Uh, MSNBC loses another quarter of its viewers, along with other dinosaur media outlets that have already collapsed. They just keep the facade going. Uh, report, Poland calls up Army Reserve, says the world stands on the brink of conflict. Vatican astronomers ramp up their search for brother extraterrestrials. Idaho family terrorized by midnight paramilitary raid. That's up on prisonplanet.com, infowars.com. On Drudge, Rand Paul announces 50 state network taps 200 people for team is the front runner in every major national poll for the Republican ticket. I can't think of another better gentleman who's a true patriot who I've known for 16, 17 years. I've known him since 1996. I've known him 18 years. Wow. The real deal. I remember calling up to get him on and you'd hear babies in the background. <laughs> I mean, I knew him before he had babies. Well, I'm just proud of the fact that I know Rand Paul's real. Doesn't mean he's perfect. Doesn't mean he won't have to play some footsie to not get assassinated. But he's got a real chance of being president. We'll talk about that after Max Kaiser leaves us. Really big news that Senator Cornyn's told the truth. It's up on DrudgeReport.com and says, Shield Law Bill is government licensing of news media. Yeah, that's what it is as a shield for media. It's like, you know, I'm going to give you the fountain of youth and shoot you in the head five times. I mean, it's Patriot Act, again, is unpatriotic. New Freedom Initiative drugs half the kids, destroys their freedom. All these initiatives have these Orwellian names that are the opposite. Ministry of Truth, Ministry of Lies. You know, give Obama a peace prize, launches all these wars. All right, we are joined now by Max Kaiser of MaxKaiser.com. And I appreciate him coming on. He's also a filmmaker. We had George Galloway on last week who he's doing two films with. I'm going to get him on when they come here to the U.S. when we get both men in studio. But Max, so much is happening I want to get into the developments in the economy. I want to get into the suicide bankers. That I mean, the numbers are so high now, I can't even keep track of it. I know it's over 20 for a while. Uh, and finally, Bloomberg saying coroners are now looking into it. Uh, but, but before we do that, what is front and center on your radar screen? Hi, Alex. Uh, do you want the bombshell now or later? Just give me the bombshell now. Oh, okay. Um, you know, I've been tracking uh, this work of the 9-11 insider trading for quite a number of years. And I, last time I was on your show, I told you there was a book coming out that would confirm that the CIA knew about insider trading and leading up to the 9-11. That book is now going to be available for the public on April 3rd. The book is called The Death of Money. And chapter one explains and explores the CIA uh, completely aware of insider trading in the days leading up to the 9-11 attacks. Uh, I had the author on my show. My show will be broadcast in a few days. And we also reveal the bombshell that the brokers at Cantor Fitzgerald were trading on insider information on the attacks on themselves. Uh, that's now been confirmed. Uh, it's discussed on my show. It'll be aired on Kaiser Report in a few days. And this book called The Death of Money by Jim Rickards uh, explains in great detail. He is an eyewitness who was there in the room while the CIA was monitoring insider trading on the airline options leading up to the days leading up to 9-11. I'm here to confirm that the CIA was trading on inside information against the deaths of many Americans on that day. And I'm here to confirm that Cantor Fitzgerald was also trading on those options against themselves. To talk about suicide bankers, Alex, these bankers were trading on their own death. So is it any surprise now that so many bankers are committing suicide? 
Uh, they're, they're psychopaths. Uh, we saw it on 9